This video is going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A and B are two square n by n matrices. It turns out that if AB happens to be the identity, then so will BA equal the identity. And of course, if you switch the matrices, it's still going to be true. Just let A become B and B become A. So the second theorem will follow from, or part B will follow from part A. Okay. So we are told, we are told that AB is equal to I. I want to get that. So now th this means that the inverse of A, the inverse of this matrix, that is what you multiply that matrix by to get the identity is B. And likewise, what you multiply B by to get the identity is A. So the inverse of B is A. Okay, so now we have AB is equal to I. And on the left, I'll multiply by A inverse on both sides of the equation. And on the right, I will multiply by B inverse. So the left side I can break up as A inverse A times BB inverse. And this is equal to A inverse times, I'll bracket it this way identity times B inverse. Well, this is the identity times the identity, and this is A inverse, identity times B inverse is B inverse. So I have that the identity is equal to A inverse B inverse, but inverse of A is nothing more than B. And the inverse of B is nothing more than A. So, I showed that, maybe I shouldn't have written on the top line, AB is equal to I. I showed that if AB equal I, it implies this, which implies that, which implies that, which implies that, which implies that. And you know what? I can go backwards. This last line equals this because B and A inverse are equal and uh, A and B inverse are equal. And the left side I didn't change. Those are equal. Now this line implies the line above. The identity is equal to the identity times the identity, and I didn't change the right-hand side at all. Okay, so that goes up. Now, does this line imply that line? Well, all I did was write the identity, the, the first identity, as A inverse times A, and all I did was write the second identity is B, inver B times B inverse, and A inverse I didn't change, and yeah, yeah, I times B inverse is B inverse. So we can go back. Okay. Now, can we go up to here? Well, it looks exactly the same to me, other than invoking the associative law. So that's okay. And to go from here to here is true because I can kill off A inverse on both sides on the left and B inverse on both sides on the right. And I get that AB is equal to the identity. So yeah, 
it, it does go back up to here. Okay. So what I have is that this is true if and only if this is true. So I knocked off A and B. That is, if AB equals I, then we get that BA equals I. And if BA is I, if we're down here, I show that AB is I, which is exactly what I wanted to show. That completes the proof. Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. As always, watch and learn.